Hello, uh, big good evening to all of you. This Diwali has been a great Diwali for all of us, hopefully. As we just announced in our yesterday's announcement for GPAT 2021 aspirants, we are just taking that same thing further. We at Pharma Elite mentioned that we'll be going through one video each day, which will be including all the important topics. So our this scenario or this grouping has been named as cluster of sure questions. This cluster of sure questions is going to be applicable for GPAT 2021, majorly as the series start daily one video right in the evening. Stay in touch with all those videos, listen to those topics, ensure that you go through the 15 minutes video each day. It's just 10 or 15 minutes. It can either be a start of the day, it can either be the end of the day for you to go through it. Trust me, you can expect purely questions from this entire series, which will be coming right from today till your GPAT exam. So it's November 16 today. It will go on till January 21. So let's go through all those topics on a quicker note. And just one thing to tell you all, agar kuch sochna hai to kuch bada hai socho, just don't think of qualifying GPAT. GPAT qualification is very easy. You, me, I, anyone can qualify GPAT. But if you want to do something great, target something great. It will require something extraordinary to get something extraordinary in our results as well. Going further, just to keep you all informed, if you want to get a notification whenever such videos are being posted on a daily basis, just click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell icon because only if you click on bell icon, you get a notification every time a video is being posted. Most importantly, we also have our free WhatsApp group wherein we daily post five questions for study purpose. We also post job openings. We also post about various news around in order to get added to that free whatsapp group you can just drop a text message on this particular given number so just send us your name your college name the year you are in and the state your college belongs to with all this details i repeat your name your college name state your college belongs to and year you are in just whatsapp it onto this particular number you will be added on to that free whatsapp group which will be posted with daily few questions some study material some job opening let's get back to our agenda of today enough of introduction these are our NIPA 2020 rankers. I just spoke about this in the previous video as well. So we had All India rank 01 in NIPA 2020. Test all rankers you can go through anytime. And we also talked about our Diwali offer of Pharma Light Test Series. So you can go through this particular entire video in the link given in the description box. Also, you can see on the right top, it mentions AIR01. So over here, you can just click on this particular link and you can go through the feedback of our rankers and our ranks, our results as well. Let's get back to our agenda. So this short three minutes introduction, just to tell you all how Formalite is different from others. We are a team run by Niperins and ICTNs for future Niperins and ICTNs. So we get Formalite want that our students should go at the best place where the best education is there, where best return on investment is there, where best placements are there, and of course, where best learnings are there. So with regards to those all points, trying to make your things easy, we have started this cluster of sure questions for GPAT 2021. This cluster of sure questions basically includes questions from different topics. As I said, it can be some straightforward concepts or it can be questions sometimes. We'll be mixing both of them at our cluster of sure questions series. This cluster of sure questions, you can call it a web series as well. This web series is going to ensure that you tap among almost all the possible corners for all the possible sure type of questions. It can be from your topics of semester eight. Like if I talk about this, markers used to measure the volume of real physiological compartments. This is a topic belonging to biopharmaceutics PPPK. For some it is in semester seven, for some it is in semester eight. Semester eight is something we usually don't read much in detail by the time GPAT comes, it's January. That's why we at Pharma Elite also take up topics of semester eight to ensure that you tap upon those important topics as well. So the question which can be asked from this particular part is with regards to measurement of physiological fluid compartments like plasma, what are the different markers which are used? The different markers like Evans blue, indocinin green, iodine-131, albumin can be used as a marker to identify plasma. If you want to identify erythrocytes, it is chromium-51. If you want to identify extracellular fluids, you can have your non-metabolizable saccharides like raffinose, inulin, and mannitol. These all saccharides can be used to measure ECF, your extracellular fluid. 
Also, you can have radioisotopes of different selected ions like sodium, then chloride, bromine, and sulfate. Most importantly, in order to measure total body water, you can use D2O. So, this is H2O ka bhai hai, deuterium dioxide, something on that side, hydrogen oxide, H2O, D2O is this, HTP, and antipyrin. So, these are different markers used to measure total body water. If possible, you can remember this approximate volumes as well, although not required strictly. So, as we always say, jitna important GPAD ke liye pata hona zaruri hai ki what is supposed to be studied. Most importantly, you should also be aware about what is not supposed to be studied. That's one of the major important points. We'll talk about those in detail further as well so that you don't waste your time on things which don't require time investment. In. Watch this video entirely. There are many things which are coming up. So going further to common names like this common names you might have studied sometimes in your school days sometimes in your junior college sometimes in your bachelor's but yes this can still be a part of your gpad paper gpad 2020 the recent year had a question which was belonging to the similar type so if being asked rochelle salt what is the chemical sodium potassium tartarate with regards to epsom salt it is magnesium sulfate so magnesium sulfate as we are aware is mgso4 how about someone asking you CuSO4. If there is CuSO4 with dot 5H2O, what does it mean? If there is FeSO4 with 7H2O, what does it mean? These are some small things which we studied long back in our school days, which we tend to ignore. But my friend, DPAT, Niper, they take into account basics as well as the higher side of pharmacy. So be ready with basics as well as the higher side of the topics. So as we are aware, CuSO4 dot 5H2O is nothing but your blue vitriol. I hope you all are aware. QSO4.5H2 is blue vitriol. FeSO4.7H2O is basically green vitriol. So this is how they both are being correlated in. Also, you have different salts like here we have mentioned global salt, which is sodium sulfate. Taken solution has been a question. It's nothing but sodium hypochlorite. Bleaching powder, we are already aware, chlorinated lime. Flake lime is your calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice. Further going, we have precipitated chalk like calcium carbonate, alum which is potassium aluminium sulfate and lastly French chalk which is talc. The list doesn't end over here. Yes, the list doesn't end over here. So here are a few more common names in. You have your soap clay which is nothing but bentonite, calumer electrode. If you remember 12 standard electrochemistry, also we had it in our pharmacy syllabus. It's consisting of mercurous chloride, your gypsum which is calcium sulfate. 9th standard Obi Baba exams and all, we might have studied it over there. China theory, which is heavy kaolin. Don't forget laughing gas, which is nitrous oxide. Most of us would know this, but very few of us are aware about tear gas. So, tear gas is nothing but chlorbenzylidine malonitride. Don't forget this. Iodine tincture, we are already aware about. It's a weak iodine solution. And importantly, your Lugol solution. Your Lugol solution is nothing but aqueous iodine solution. To ensure this short type of questions, the small concepts which you tend to ignore, you focus on them parallelly. This is not something which should be left over and should be left in option. Lastly, few more in knockout drops. Chloral hydrate, if you remember, you have used this in pharmacognosy as a cleansing agent. Washing soda is your sodium carbonate, your baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, and your costing soda is basically CAU. Costing soda is basically sodium hydroxide. So don't tend to get confused over here. Most of the times we go wrong over here. Sodium bicarbonate is washing soda or baking soda. So B for baking soda and B for sodium bicarbonate. That's how you can remember it in an easy manner. So be focused, learn smarter manner. Don't go haphazard. Be smart with what you are investing your time in when you are preparing for Sheeta. That's how you can make things easy for yourself. After common names, next important thing, application of different tests. So, you know, these are different diagnostic tests. Many of this test you might have already heard about. Many of this test you might not be aware about. So you have your Watson Swartz test, which is used to identify urobilinogen. Yeah, urobilinogen. Now, you might be finding these all things a bit difficult. So, you need to make some of the other mnemonics wherever you find it difficult. Not necessarily that you need a mnemonic every time and a mnemonic would always help. But yes, wherever possible. You might have heard about Worcester coating in tablet coating chapter of pharmaceutics here your w stands for watson your u stands for urobilinogen 
and your S stands for Schwartz test. So it's Watson, Eurobellinogen, Schwartz test. Then you have your rings test, which is for heavy metals. So every company has HR. In HR, H stands for heavy metals, R stands for rings test. Then further, you have your murexide test. Murexide test, second alphabet and third alphabet is UR. Uric acid starts with UR. So muric acid, murexide test is for uric acid. Goffman test is for serum cholesterol. Goffman test is for serum cholesterol. You might have studied about CGS unit and different types of unit in physical pharmacy. Also in physics in 11 standard. In CGS, C stands for cholesterol. S stands for serum. And your G stands for Goffman test. Talking about Gottlin test. Gottlin test is majorly for identifying scurvy. GST. So in Gottlin test, G stands for Gottlin. S stands for scurvy. T stands for test. Most importantly, if you remember, scurvy is something which occurs due to lack of which vitamin? I leave it up to you. Scurvy occurs due to lack of which vitamin? Just a lack of vitamin A causes night blindness. Lack of which vitamin causes scurvy? So this is how you can relate different concepts together. If you want to identify bile pigments, in that particular case, you go with Smelin's test. Most importantly, car price test has been a question multiple times in NIFER and GPAT as well. So don't go wrong over here. It's majorly for vitamin A. So you might have heard in your school days about different stories. This may cave hotata. Hufa. In this cave, C stands for car price test. A stands for vitamins A, A. And lastly, you have vitamin B, ka B. So you have car price test, vitamin A with B. Lastly, you have scums. Scums test is for heal. Scums test is for heal. You might have heard about sulfhydryl groups. SH likhte up. In sulfhydryl test, sorry, in scums test, it stands for heal. This is how you can make things easier for you. Going further, if you want to identify diphtheria, it goes with shed. Shed, chopra sort of thing. In case of shed, forget H. Your S is standing for shek test, E is standing for elect test, and lastly your D is standing for diphtheria. It's important, don't take it lightly. Further, you have scarlet fever. Scarlet fever, you might have heard about SDS in biotech, sodium dodecyl sulfate. Here, SDS S is standing for scarlet fever, D is standing for dick test, and S is standing for skulls test. These both are very much important when it comes to entrance. Most of us tend to go wrong over here. So be careful with SDS and shit. SH stands for shit. SH E stands for elect. D stands for diphtheria. Shit. SDS, scarlet fever, dick test, and skulls test. With regards to pneumonia, cold hemagglutination test is being used. Your brucellosis can be identified with boom test and tube agglutination test. Again, an important one. A confirmatory test for your AIDS is Western blot test. Again, another test being used is ELISA. Let's not forget this. For pregnancy, it's RIA and radioimmunoassay. These all tests, especially of this particular slide, is more important. Further, for leprosy, you have lepromin test for tuberculosis, tuberculin, and for hemophilia, it is dupri test. So don't go wrong over here as well. Lastly, this has been a question again in the previous years for rheumatoid test, arthritis, you have rose water test. Don't worry, if you feel the video is going fast, you can pause it, write it and then go ahead accordingly. For smallpox, you have got Puchtulloni test. For influenza virus, you have radial immunodiffusion test. Most importantly, syphilis is another important question. VDRL test, Khan test, Wesserman test, RPR test. Last two, well Felix test and agglutination test. Lastly, with regards to typhoid, it's a vital test with tube agglutination. So yes, last two slides. In fact, this all are important. As I told you, this is portion, a cluster of sure questions. So ensure you don't ignore this. Stay tuned about the further upcoming videos. We are going to talk about different stereoisomers, which are more active for which trans, for which cis. We have a made list already for different diagnostic agents, for different drugs, their stereoisomers, ADRs of different drugs. One by one, we shall be sharing amongst you. 
you all those upcoming things in. all the best students stay tuned with farmai lead will keep you posted and ensure that we all get ready for gpat 2021 in order for any inquiries for joining farmai lead for live webinar test series or anything get in touch with us on the given contact number by nai parents and icitians to create future nai parents and icitians thank you so much.